Congratulations to YouTube, because as of January 1st, 2024, the platform officially has 1 billion videos. And while that number is obviously very impressive, we're not here today to celebrate those videos, the ones on the platform, but rather the ones that were taken off, the deleted videos. A lot of these videos were really hard to find, so without further ado, here we go. We're starting off with a relic of YouTube's history, and that's Charlie Bit My Finger. This video, before it was taken down, had 870 million views. The reason it was taken down is because they sold this video as an yeah. NFT to somebody at an auction for $750,000. So here comes a little blast of nostalgia from 2007. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie bit me. Cute baby. Cute family. I don't know. Is he going to do it again? <laughs> oh, ouch. I mean, what did you expect? Ouch, Charlie. Ouch. <laughs> Charlie. That really hurt. Okay, it's very cute. It looks like the Gerber baby. There goes the baby laughing. The crazy thing about kids is that their emotions are directly related to how the people around them react. So if like a baby falls and you're like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Then they're gonna cry. But if a baby falls and you start laughing, the baby's gonna start laughing. So I imagine the reason why this kid, who I think is unnamed, brother of Charlie, was able to get over it is because the cameraman started laughing. This was also my first exposure to British kids. Eh, I guess Harry Potter. And in case you're wondering, what do these kids look like now after their NFT auction and all of their success? This is the 10 year anniversary. So this is eight years ago. So I guess it was before the NFT auction. But right here is the brother and that is Charlie. That's what they look like. Congrats to those kids on being YouTube famous. All right, another blast from the past. And we have Leave Britney Alone by It's Chris Crocker. This video was ultimately taken down because the creator felt as if they were getting harassed and bullied online and they couldn't handle all the pressure. So they decided to pull it. But if you were around during 2007, I believe this was this was something. And just for context, this person was defending Britney Spears. I think she had just shaved her head or she was going through something. Here we go. Do we really want to see a 25 year old woman leave behind two children and die before you're thinking like why is this person so invested in britney spears life britney spears had like swifties before taylor swift had her swifties like she had stands so this is a stand just a little psa i don't think you guys should get attached to any creator any artist any musician any actor like it's very unhealthy this is like the worst case of power socialism i've ever seen all right here comes the iconic part <laughs> what you don't realize is that britney's making you all this money and all you do is write a bunch of crap about her. Leave her alone! Okay, sorry. I guess we'll move on to the next one. Next up, we have a video from the Stokes twins. They're like these prankster YouTubers. I think they're massive. They have like over 25 million subscribers, but they uploaded a bank robbery prank gone wrong video, which I mean, predictably went wrong. And what had gone wrong is that they got arrested and charged with a felony because they were posing as criminals. And then they like put this Uber driver in a very weird situation. YouTube, of course, forced them to take it off of their channel. I think legally as well. But fortunately, we found this on some archive channel, so shout out to them, and here we go. Don't do this. So there they are. This was from 2019. I mean, what were they thinking? Like, obviously, there's gonna be, like, police that come from this. 200? No, I'm, I'm trying to make, like, a larger, larger, like, amount. You know how tight your security is, or? I just want to say that the Stokes twins look like the last people that would ever actually rob a bank, so I don't think that guy was particularly, like, threatened by the thought of them doing it. If you ever see me in a place where I'm just, like, harassing strangers for content, just please let me know. Just say, Sam, you falling off the deep edge. So this is what did it. So you guys I, are pulling off masks. So I called the emergency, non-emergency number about like, um, I think the other day they let them know this was on Saturday. And I told them that we would be filming Saturday and on. Uh huh. That's an interesting twist to this story. Because if you call law enforcement ahead of time, I know with certain things like getting docs, for instance, if there's a reported crime at the address to which you reported, the cops won't show up. So I think if they genuinely told the police exactly what they were doing, I don't know why they got charged with a felony. If anything, obviously it's a public nuisance. Obviously it's stupid. But kind of on Stokes' twin side of them not getting a felony if they like warn the PD about it. This is what's going to get someone potentially gun stuck or someone hurt. What the, we have people stopping in the middle of the street because they're watching this. Yeah, and then you start pulling resources away from where they actually have to be, like solving crime or pulling people over who are like drunk driving. And instead they're just dealing with these stooges. So that's that taken down from YouTube. And they, I think, went to like jail overnight, perhaps. All right, this was bound to come up sooner or later, and I'm sure YouTube won't appreciate that I'm gonna be showing this, but everything's gonna be blurred. But this is the Logan Paul suicide farce video in which he uploaded on his channel, I think in 2018, and he ended up getting a ton of heat for it because he showed a body, which obviously we're not gonna be showing in this video. 
video, but this is the deleted video. Some clips still exist. There's like a ton of re-uploads. So this is the video that everybody freaked out. And I think it actually like propelled him to stardom in a, a very weird way. It actually helped him in his career a lot, but this was the video, or at least this is the part of the video that a lot of people obviously uh, got offended rightfully so over. I really hate to say this. I think there's someone right there. That hat is crazy. Body. Yeah. <laughs> it's one thing like you know like some people experience trauma and then they get like they start laughing because they don't know how to react like the laughing it's almost as if the laughing it's fine it's like okay like you're in a really uncomfortable weird situation that you've never encountered before you can't expect somebody to react a certain way but then to like film it i mean everybody knows the story upload it it's just kind of crazy it's it's truly psychopathic switching gears a little bit and now we have the first video ever uploaded on smosh's channel which was the pokemon theme song but it was taken down i think because of copy right issues, but then somebody re-uploaded it. And so now we have this video, I believe from like 2006 and it's Smosh, Anthony Padilla and Ian Hickox just singing the song, lip syncing it. This was like peak YouTube. Oh my, look at those pixels. The cinematography. Within 10 seconds, you have three camera changes. Poor Pikachu. I always felt bad for Pikachu in that video. I mean, what do you think? This has got to be like 144p and I reckon maybe like 15 frames per second. Doesn't Anthony Padilla kind of look like Fred? That's a conspiracy right there. That's one way to catch a Pokemon. Poor Pikachu. Look at that. that I mean, that's, that's great. They made it for these two people, Julie and Cassidy. So they were the, the origin of Smosh came from them. Speaking of a totally different time, now we have Rick Perry. He was the old governor of Texas. And then in 2012, he ran for president under the Republican ticket against Obama. Obviously that didn't work out super well for him, but one of his campaign ads called Strong, I mean, you can watch it for yourself, but this was pulled off of YouTube. I'm sure you'll see why pretty quickly. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm a Christian, but you don't need to be in the pew every Sunday to know that there's something wrong in this country when you can serve openly in the military but our kids can't openly celebrate Christmas or pray in school. So Rick Perry, after approving that message, was uh, poll numbers plummeted. Well, even on the re-upload, the dislikes are strong. This sounds like something I would hear in a GTA radio commercial. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen, like a South Park parody. It is, it's pretty hilarious. I mean, to be fair to Rick Perry, this was, this is just great media. I'm glad I consumed this. At this point, I think everybody's familiar with Jawed, who's one of the co-founders of YouTube back in the day, and he was responsible for the first video ever uploaded on the platform called Me at the Zoo. Great. 19 seconds of just him looking at elephants and just chronicling his time at the zoo. However, Jawed seems to only have one video ever uploaded on his platform, but according to Fox Akimbo, so shout out to that channel, very cool videos, go check it out. He pointed out that the second video in YouTube history was uploaded a mere 10 minutes after this video, meaning that the second video to ever exist was almost the first video to ever exist and nobody talks about it. But the video was posted by Jawed, again, 10 minutes apart, and it's called Rolling Down a Hill. So this video video is historical and nobody's ever seen it because it was 10 minutes late. So here we go. It's greatness. I think that video trumps the me at the zoo. I don't know why he deleted it. I'm not sure. But if he was 10 minutes earlier, this would have been a historical video with over 300 million views. Instead, it was deleted and now it only has 78,000 views and it was posted five years ago on a re-upload account. And if you're saying to yourself, Sam, that doesn't count, the video was deleted, so it's not the second video ever uploaded on the platform technically. Well, you're right. And that belongs to my snowboarding skills posted by MW with 3.6 million views. You'll see it was posted on April 23rd, 2005. So this isn't a deleted video, but it's just a cool little fact about the platform. It's pretty funny. It was one of the first humor videos too. And also the description says description, which I've always appreciated. And if you want to go a little bit further into the Jawed deleted video rabbit hole, somebody found and re-uploaded all of Jawed's original videos posted over 18 years ago. Even more interestingly is that Me at the Zoo wasn't even his most popular video until eight years into his channel. So the most popular video he ever posted, the first creator on this platform was Under the Bridge. This was the it video up until I think like 2012. So it's a plane doing some spinnies and going under a bridge, which I mean, it's fascinating. This is the first aviation video to have ever been posted on YouTube. And it was just one of the first 10 videos ever uploaded. Plane does, it looks like it's spiraling, but I trust that the pilot has full control of that. Okay, let's move on. Next up, we have the king of YouTube himself, Mr. Beast, who on his Beast Reacts channel, which I think used to just be like Mr. Beast 2, he uploaded a video titled You Won, and then it was deleted, and here it is. Do you not have any morals or ethics? I mean, really just cheating? Even on something like this like th i didn't even do anything i just clicked on the video see this box click it if you click it it'll take you to my newest video if you watch my newest video i'll forgive you for cheating not gonna forgive you 
Okay, I'll click. I would love to know the context. Take that. Okay, chill, Mr. Beast. Let's see why I took it off. This is like some PR damage control. I think this one's pretty funny, but Nas Daily uploaded a video titled The Most Generous Billionaire, and it was about Sam Bankman Freed, who was the FTX CEO that defrauded like millions of people and like was just a complete scam artist. And so it's just pretty ironic that like they made a video promoting the guy, saying he was generous when he was stealing from people. So this is what some of the video looks like. I feel like Nas Daily is like an active possible copyright striker. Hi, my name is Sam, and this is my story. I hate that I share the same name as him. Does that look like me? It's just like the biggest face palm in history. Just this guy, just a fraudster. I think he's going to jail. He was arrested in the Bahamas and extradited to the US where he was indicted on seven criminal charges, including wire fraud, commodities fraud, 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 campaign finance laws. Okay. Convicted of all seven. Okay. And he's, he's facing decades in prison scheduled March 28th, 2024. Bad look by Nas Daily. Should have done your due diligence. Next up, we have a video that I think was one of the reasons why the YouTube ad apocalypse happened, which was basically like the entire demonetization of YouTube channels. And it's because PewDiePie reacted to a Fiverr video in which some pretty bad things happened. And he took this down. I think he like apologized for this and everything. It was like a whole thing. It was massive on YouTube at the time. Here's the video. So these are the guys you can get them to say anything you want for like 10 bucks. Okay. So what he had wrote, I'm not sure they're going to show it again. You heard death to all blank, just fill in the blanks and also subscribe to Keemstar. They want him to say, oh, they show it. Okay. So maybe we should blur that, but just use context clues. All right, here we go. <laughs> That's the craziest video I've ever seen in my life. Now we have a video that was heavily memed and then taken down in 2021, and it's the YouTube Rewind 2020 The Musical by Michelle Carr. Uh, she actually makes decent videos now, but this was just a miss. I don't know why, I've never actually watched this, but it's a YouTube Rewind and it's a musical. So let's see what this looks like. So it's like a Broadway show of 2020. So let's try to point out what had happened. So that's Mr. Beast. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Chandler? Okay, there's Mark Rober. That guy looks like Mr. Beast. That's like skinny Mr. Beast. Not that Mr. Beast is fat. That's just like a really skinny Mr. Beast. I'm a little concerned by how much I'm enjoying this. I don't know why this was taken down. This is pretty great. There's Dream. This was the most failed channel ever. Some good news. He uploaded for like six months and then stopped. So that's Marquez Brownlee. That looks like, uh, what's that guy's name? He's like the Filipino like makeup artist guy. That's Dream. That's maybe Yes Theory. There's a yes on the shirt. And that's about as much as I know here. Who's that, Jenna Marbles? Or like a dupe? Oh no. Imposters. Okay, there's Mr. Beast also playing PewDiePie. There's Corpse. I'm gonna say it, that was very entertaining and I'm glad that that exists and I'm disappointed in Michelle Carr for taking that down because I thought that was a work of art. Like, it, I don't know like why she couldn't take the criticism on it because I thought that was, that was fabulous. That was very entertaining to say the least. It encapsulates the year well. I mean, I get it's like cringy, but cringy isn't bad. In fact, cringy is actually honorable because it means that you're willing to go to lengths to get a reaction out of people. Uh, that should be reinstated. I don't know why that was deleted. Okay, so Alan Walker was a Norwegian YouTuber. I think he was the most popular Norwegian YouTuber and he collabed with No Copyright Sounds, NCS, and he put out a bunch of bangers, including songs like Spectre, Force, and Fade. So so somebody re-uploaded this. I'm sure you'll be familiar with this. I think at the time, Fade had 4 billion views. Okay, Faded and it had 3.5 billion views. So Alan Walker's channel still exists, but the NCS channel doesn't exist. This song's such a banger. Okay, here we go. So November 19th. 2014 to November 12th, 2021. So about a seven year stint. But I mean, this song, you couldn't escape this song if you were on YouTube during that time. I'm gonna start using this again. Banger. This guy was like the Avicii of YouTube. So young. And here's the other song, Force. You probably heard this before. And this guy gives some good context. The reason why this and two other Valens tracks have been privated is because the contract between him and NCS expired thanks to Sony Music Entertainment. So SME, the label that's responsible for copywriting basically everybody to ever exist on YouTube. Thanks to them, we've lost a great channel in NCS, which I think had 30 million subscribers at the time of termination. Next up is Steve Will Do It, who was banned from the platform because he was promoting gambling, which is against the terms of services of YouTube because he left the U URL to this site, which I can't say visible for his viewers to see when he uploaded some of the clips onto his channel. And this is what got him banned from YouTube. This video was of course taken down, but we have access to it. And I'm gonna of course blur the parts, which you shouldn't be seeing. I'm gonna let my girlfriend in. I Gambling is so terrible. Gambling is actually like the biggest waste of money. Gambling and lottery tickets are two things you shouldn't do. Oh, it's so degenerate. I did it! I did it! 
Okay. I like Steve Will Do It, though. He was actually doing a lot of cool stuff prior to getting banned. So, I mean, I know he's doing well on Rumble now. So, that's good for him. So, now I'm about to play for you the most viewed deleted video ever. At the time of deletion, this video had 6 billion views. Yes, with a B. But it was ultimately reinstated. So, the video that was deleted because there were some issues with getting the proper tracking linked with the label was Desposito. So, obviously, we can't play this because of the copyrighted sound. But it's crazy this was deleted and it's still the second most viewed video. Now it has 8.4 billion. So it's just right behind Baby Shark that has like 12 billion, I think. Wow, I can't believe it was this many views. I remember when uh, Gangnam Style was popular. This makes me want to move to Puerto Rico. Hey, I think I've been there. I think the one with Justin Bieber is better though. How's that doing? The one with Justin Bieber, okay, 679 million. I feel like if they made a music video, it would have done better. This feels straight up illegal to show you guys, but Markiplier and Crank Gameplays came up with a channel three years ago called Unis Anis. And basically the goal of the channel was to post a video every single day and the channel was deleted at the end of the year. And so it was meant to just be, if you were there during a specific moment in time, then you could relish these memories, but afterwards it's completely gone. And so it is completely gone, but of course people obviously like recorded the videos. And so they put together two seconds from every Unis Honest video. We're not gonna watch the whole thing because I kind of want to like respect the sanctity of the channel. But here's a little bit of a sneak peek of what this looked like. I remember only watching the final Unis Honest video. So all of this... It Okay. Oh, wow. He really grew his hair out. Okay. So you're probably wondering, Sam, like, why didn't you just show us like just one re-upload video so I can get the gist of what it looks like? And the reason being... What are you going to do about Unis Honest reposts? Um, we... I try to take down everything that I see, but the, the long story short is they will be taken down. Yeah, so I'm not trying to get the entire video taken down because apparently like the both of them are very adamant about having that be like a particular point in time and they don't want to see the re-uploads. So that's the most I can show you, unfortunately. But go look it up on your own. I'm sure they exist somewhere out there. Next up, we have a video of Logan Paul in which he addresses CoffeeZilla's scam allegations in regards to CryptoZoo. And he took it down immediately and then apologized, but we were able to snag it. And this is what it looked like. Zach Kelly. Surely, as the internet detective that you proclaim to be, you would know that he spent time in prison for multiple felonies. One I really like the editing on this video as a side point. So I'm not going to come on any of your podcasts. If you want to come on Impulsive and talk about this, that's fine. You've denied my invitation multiple times. You're still invited. I think if you're investing in crypto in the first place, you're, I mean, good luck. But all that back and forth, it's just, that's just classic YouTubers. Whoever side you're on, at the end of the day, you have to acknowledge that they're both getting paid AdSense on talking about it. And that's all they care about. And their name just gets elevated and then it's all good. All right, now we have a video from a creator called Nicole Arbor called Dear Fat People. Now this video was taken down for the longest time. And then for whatever reason, it was just like uploaded again at some point and it's restored itself. 15 million views. This was taken down because basically everybody got triggered by this, including fat people. Let's listen to what she has to say. Dear Fat People. <laughs> Some people are already really mad at this video. What are you gonna do, fat people? What are you gonna do? Wait, wait, are you gonna chase me? Really? You're gonna chase me? So I think she just takes digs at fat people. Fat shaming is not a thing. Fat people made that up. There's a race card, there's a disability card, there's even a card because people are discriminated against. There are a lot of cards when you think about it. Like people pull out cards for anything. You could have like any sort of like victim complex nowadays. I think everybody's due for criticism. Also like everybody should be fair game to joke about. Cause if not, then you're truly discriminating cause you're excluding a group from being treated fairly in your eyes. That's why I like shows like Family Guy and even South Park. Cause they just like take the digs and then you just eat it up. Everybody should be getting made fun of, including you. If you're watching this video, haha, look at you. Look at you, you'll never be anything. You're nothing. No, I'm kidding. You're great. You're going to do awesome things in your life. And I'm really proud of you. And keep it up. You're going to have a great year. If you consider yourself to be a Coco Melon fan, which everybody watching this video should be because that's the greatest channel to ever exist on YouTube. And now they have like a Netflix show. And it's like this entire cult of just parents that leave Coco Melon, ABC's nursery rhymes playing in the background. Anyways, Super Jojo is a channel that literally takes the exact mechanisms from the animation, including the song, including the characters. And what they do is just put it slightly different differently, a little bit of a twist on it, brand it as their own and then put it out. This is a seven hour super cut because Super Jojo, the channel has been taken down as a result. At the time of being taken down, they had 33 million subscribers. Such a brave boy. And you may be thinking to yourself, Sam, that's absurd. It doesn't look that much like Coco Melon. Well, here we go. We have the showdown of Baby Shark. Oh, they really distorted this. 
I thought Co Cocomelon ripped it too because Cocomelon is not even responsible for making the song. So the song is actually from Pink Fong, Baby Shark, which I believe is like an Indonesian channel. So I guess everybody's just ripping from everybody. There's a lot going on here in this uh, this baby world. Yeah, so here's the channel. So at 23.9 subscribers, they were effectively booted and now there's nothing left on here. So rest in peace to Super Jojo because I guess Cocomelon Superior can't beat the Americans at their kid shows. Next up, I'm about to show you something that has never been seen ever before ever in the history History of ever. Now you may be thinking, Sam, why would you just Rick roll me? That was very rude. I trusted you. Well, yeah, okay, whatever. Anyways, the reason I'm showing you is because Cotter548 was the first person to ever upload a Rick roll video, and then the video was deleted for copyright claims. However, very recently it was reinstated because it's historical. So as you can see, there's no claim to this video by whatever label is responsible for the Rick roll, and so now it exists. And so you can listen to the Rick roll as much as you want, at least on this channel. Though it's going to be kind of hard to prove that you're getting the audio from here. But Cotter548, the inventor of the Rick roll, historical guy. Deleted video back on the channel, 95 million views, and he updated his description by saying, as long as trolls are still trolling, the Rick will never stop rolling. Now we have a video from Jaden Animations titled, I tried to beat Minecraft with Call Me Carson. It's this entire 18 minute animated video, including creator Call Me Carson, who was canceled because it was alleged that he had relations with underaged girls. And he was basically ostracized by the entire gaming community. And so she had to take this video down because she felt as if it was bad PR to have him on her channel. This is what the video looks like. I'm not afraid to show it because I don't know either of these people, nor do I care about them. Everyone knows what Minecraft is. If you don't, why are you here? I just want to stop her. I don't know what Minecraft truly is. I played it two times and I still have no idea what I'm doing every time I play it. All right, here we go. After getting some loot, we decided to start looking around. There's some pretty cool animations. I don't really watch Jaden animations, but that's Carson. Wow, he was popping. This is like in 2020, 7,500 subs. Let's pocket watch a little bit. 7K times 5, 35K. He gets half of that. Well, he's making like 15K just from his Twitch subs. You should definitely go check him out on on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, okay, so I think like the, especially like the call to action to go check him out. I think that was uh, a big issue with this video. It's like, oh, go check out this guy who right now is like completely publicly failing. I think he still makes videos though. I think he was exonerated in the public eye because he like proved that it was fake. So if that's the truth, I don't know the truth. I'm not looking into it. I don't care enough. But if that's the truth, then I hope him well. And if it's not the truth, then, you know, I, you know, I hope everybody well. I hope everybody is well forever. I, I, oh, I hold no ill will. Here's another appearance by PewDiePie. He uploaded a video titled My New Car and it was deleted off of his channel and then had to be re-uploaded. I'm not sure why. I'm going to do some investigative work while we show the video. It was taken down because of copyright. So I guess it was this song in the background. That is a sick car. It always throws me off that the Europeans drive on the right side of the road. Fun fact, I used to have this body pillow, but it was with Mikasa from Attack on Titan and I slept with it every night. Not on the bed, like in the room. What do you think if you're driving by and you just see somebody get stuffed into a trunk? Take a look at this sill right here. So we got Warheads Red Bull. Can't identify this. So maybe somebody smarter than me or somebody who eats a lot of sweets. Looks like another candy. Perhaps could be like a Reese's. And then I don't know what this is either. Might be like a UK specific snack, but it could be like guac Doritos maybe. All right. So a video taken down for copyright. I thought it would have been for another reason. So that's that's kind of not as cool. So next up, we have a video from David Dobrik's vlog and it was deleted because there was a lot of controversy around this guy in the group called like Dirty. Dom, which I can, obviously this guy's going to do some crazy stuff. His name is Dirty Dom. That's like the nastiest name of all time. But I think this was taken down because he's he wants to make sure that there's no evidence out there. Okay, so that is the girl that uh, yeah was involved with the controversy. By some stroke of luck and master negotiating, Dom made progress. Okay, so they're saying that David Dobrik orchestrated them coupling together and just basically like overly wingman to the point where it was forceful is how I'm interpreting this guy's commentary. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> and then he's sweating. All right, it's kind of an uncomfortable video to watch, just like orchestrating like a hookup like that. Don't do that. All right, so here's another David Dobrik deleted vlog. This one you can't find anywhere, but this guy was so nice to upload this sketch. And basically Jason Nash, who is this guy right here, applied for a job at 7-Eleven. And he noticed that there was a lot of Indians working there and this is what he did. Oh man, I really hope he doesn't screw this up. Come on. No, no. How? No. Okay. I mean, that'll do it. Uh, that, I mean, that's, that's taken down. That is no longer up. I'm sure you see why. All right, here's a video. It says it's age restricted. So maybe we just blur some parts. I don't know why. This video is probably going to be age restricted anyways because of everything else you saw. But this is Filthy Frank TV, how to say hello in 30 languages. It was deleted because I think it was offensive to people and it was re-uploaded on this beautiful channel called Deleted Videos DV. So thank you. Hello. Yeah. 
This man just offended the entire world of true men of equality. This dude isn't racist if he makes fun of everyone equally. This is technically equality. And people seem to be on his side. It's just like, it's it's so interesting how certain people, depending on your public persona, can get away with like whatever they want. But then again, he deleted it. So he kind of like cowered to the masses. I don't know, I'm conflicted on it. I, I don't think I can watch this whole video because I'm not trying to get like my channel revoked because I reacted to a filthy Frank video. And then finally we have Ha Ha Ha, which is a re-upload of just a video of a baby for a minute 40. And as this description notes, it had two 207 million views at the time of deletion, making it one of the most popular deleted videos ever. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, to be a baby, just the joy that just emits from you, just from hearing simple sounds. What a beautiful video to end it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, make sure to click here or click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.